Hello, and thank you so much for tuning in to the Prophetic Marriage Ministry. My name is Shannon, if this is your first time, and I want to welcome you to my channel. So I have a word of encouragement from the Lord because I feel in the spirit that a lot of you are starting to doubt what God said, and a lot of you are wondering if God is really going to do what he said he's going to do. I came here to tell you today that God is still going to do exactly what he said he's going to do. The devil is trying to make you think that God is not going to do it. Why is he doing that? Because we are nearing the moment where God is going to deliver the promise, where God is transforming the heart of your kingdom spouse. God is moving on your heart. God is doing what he said he's going to do, and it's almost time for it to happen. It's going to happen within the next couple of months. Now, some of you, some of you may not have the promise within the next couple of months. However, you can still listen to this word because this will be a word of encouragement for you. Because if you say that you believe that God has said he's going to do something, then you still have to stand and believe that God said he's going to do exactly what he said he's going to do. And we have to learn to enjoy the journey. And I had to learn this as well because this came from T.D. Jakes. I saw a video of him on Facebook and he basically was talking about how every season of life, there is a battle. There is something that we are going to have to endure and believe God for because we are living on earth. And I hope you don't think that after you get your promise, after you go to the next part of the thing that God has for you, that there won't be any more battles there won't be any more trials because if we spend every season and every moment hoping for the next thing then we can never enjoy the current season the right now that God has us in so don't let the devil have you living your life wishing for the next thing and the next thing and the next thing but I understand when you're waiting for a promise when you're waiting for a kingdom spouse a job a marriage a child then it can seem tormenting because you're like God do you hear me do you feel me do you see me and God says yes and just know that your father in heaven loves you he is going to take care of you he is going to do what he said he's going to do but there is a processing that needs to happen whether you have to be processed your kingdom spouse may have to be processed God is preparing the way allow God to prepare the way for you your promises and everything that he has for you and for many of you you are experiencing this supernatural peace but you're confused because you don't see anything you don't necessarily know what God is doing but you have this peace and you're starting to wonder God why do I had this peace and I've spoke with some of you on coaching and you have confirmed that you feel this peace and you feel like you should be upset or you feel like that you know you should be doubting but you have the peace but it's like this weirdness that you feel it's because God is going to move God is going to do it let me be your voice of encouragement the Lord had me make a video and to remind his people to not doubt him Satan is moving in these last moments and he is really trying to ramp up his devices of doubt doubt is like the biggest thing that's happening right now doubting and afraid that God isn't going to do it afraid that God is he's lying no God is not a man that he should lie and honestly you guys a couple nights ago I woke up with sleep paralysis and that's how I knew that God is going to do exactly what he said he's going to do because I have not experienced sleep paralysis in maybe about a month or so and I have been ramping up my prayer life I have been ramping up my belief in God and trusting God and staying positive positive. and the devil does not like when you choose to believe God no matter what he does not like when you're positive he does not like when you focus on God so he's going to try to do something to get you back in that place of depression and defeat and wonder and worry because he's like no you are supposed to be afraid you're you're supposed to doubt God you're supposed to think that God isn't going to do it no we're not going to think like that we're going to stand on God's promises we're going to stand on his word and I know some of you are like oh I'm tired of hearing about God is going to do it trust me trust me he is do you know how long Abraham waited for a baby he waited so long and he was an old man and Sarah was an old man as well. I mean, it was so many people who had to wait on God in the Bible. Even the prodigal son, his father had to wait on him. And we don't know how long that was. Ruth had to wait until Boaz pursued her. Those of you who are in alignment with this channel, in alignment with the spirit of God that is on my life, it's going to happen soon. So don't think that you're gonna be sitting around here for five years and 10 years and 20 years. No, you're not. I don't even think it's going to take another six months, honestly. I'm just being completely honest. If I'm wrong, Lord, forgive me. But I honestly do not think it's going to be another six months. I think it's going to be within the next couple of months. I feel like things are going to start shifting and moving before the end of this year or even before the next year comes in. 
But even if your promise doesn't come in that time frame, you know what God told you. You know what God said. Some of us are in different seasons. Some of us are in different phases of our walk with God. And I don't want anybody, no matter what phase you're in with God, to get discouraged because God is not a man that he should lie. So we need to continue to have a heart posture of praise, have a heart posture of worship because there are supernatural things happening. Remember, y'all, I just did a video the other day and I was speaking about how we are up against the Red Sea and God is about to perform a miracle. And God has been prophetically speaking to me about the Red Sea. I was watching the Animal Channel the other day and a big map came on the screen showing where the animals were and it said Red Sea. And I was just watching a different YouTube video yesterday when the woman was talking about the Red Sea and how God is about to defeat the enemies and defeat the Pharaohs in your life. And that's confirmation because I haven't talked to this lady this lady don't know me i watch her channel but that goes to show you that the spirit of god is moving in the same direction if you're connected to me if you're connected to this channel if this video resonates with you then this is just another confirmation in the midst of your doubt that god is moving god is working he's going to do what he says he's going to do and i know i keep saying it but i need you to get that in your mind i need you to get that in your spirit i need you to understand that god is still going to do it no matter what it feels like no matter what it looks like we have to go back into the place of prayer and we have to come back into alignment with God because when we step out of alignment with God then God can't move the way that he wants to move now God can perform miracles he can do whatever he wants to do but it wouldn't hurt to come into agreement and come into alignment because most of the time God operates off of our belief because if we don't believe that he's going to do it then how can he do something that we don't believe so we have to believe it so pick yourself up and I know sometimes the kingdom spouse or circumstances may seem shaky it may look a little rocky but go to God do not put your focus on that kingdom spouse because God can transform things in the blink of an eye so go to God and say Lord I don't know what's going on with this kingdom spouse I don't know what's going on with these job with these children with this ministry but I know it's in your hands I know you gave me a promise and I know that you said you were going to do something so I am going to stand in the gap for this promise for this spouse for whatever it is and I am going to choose to put my entire faith, put my entire weight on this because it is depending on your faith. Your faith has to be strengthened and it has to be aligned with the spirit of God. Remember when I was speaking about how the Israelites were up against the Red Sea and Pharaoh and all his horses and chariots, they were at a standoff and the Israelites were saying, oh my gosh, we're about to die. We should have died back in the wilderness. I don't know what's going on. This isn't you know, supposed to be how it is. You know, just complaining and complaining and complaining and God does not want us to complain we have to have the right heart posture to receive the breakthrough and to receive the miracle because at the moment that Moses raised his staff as God had commanded him to God parted that Red Sea and they were walking through the Red Sea on dry ground with walls of water on both sides and that is a miracle and right when you think your enemies are about to overtake you God is about to move in he's about to show up and show out in your life and you are going to be like oh my gosh I did not know that God was going to do this thing in this way so God is setting up your enemies, the stronghold or whatever it is in your life that you think is something big that you think may be your Pharaoh. He is setting it up so that he can show these people, this thing, these circumstances that he is God and he is God alone. So when you feel like things are getting to a breaking point, that's when God moves. When it seems like things are desolate, when it seems like things are not moving, God will show up and show out to perform a miracle. So let's not doubt. Let's not say, oh God, you should have left me in the wilderness. Oh God, I shouldn't have started this kingdom spouse journey. I shouldn't have believed that you said I could have a child. I shouldn't have believed that you said I was going to have a ministry, a business. No, we're going to say, okay, I don't know how God is going to do this, but I know God said he's going to do it. So I I'm going to stand and believe and I'm going to trust and I'm going to continue to have the faith and I'm going to pray even harder. I'm going to rebuke the devil even harder. I'm going to rebuke this doubt, rebuke this fear, and I'm going to go full force in believing the plans and the purpose and the promises of God. The Bible says, he who began a good work in you shall finish it to completion. Let God finish whatever he's doing to completion because it will be so beautiful when the time is right, when God is ready for it, 
it will be beautiful. If anyone is interested in coaching, I offer coaching. And let me tell y'all, coaching is such a beautiful thing. I am so blessed by y'all and I just love y'all so much. I love meeting y'all. I love speaking with y'all. I will leave my email down in the comment section and in the description below. So please shoot me an email if you are interested in coaching. And also please subscribe if this video resonates with you. And if it does resonate with you, then tell me how. And also I want to thank everybody so much who has sewn into me, whether you gave a dollar or two dollars or 50 cent whether you are coaching with me i want to thank you for sowing into my ministry and i pray that the lord increases you a thousand times and if you feel led to sow into this word i will leave that information down in the comment section below as well thank you so much for tuning in to the prophetic marriage ministry and i will see you again in my next video Bye bye